Hello church, I really do appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today and I pray that my words will bring some meaning and value to you as you listen to them. When I thought about the devotion that I would share, I thought about cookery for some reason. Now no one would mistake me for a great chef, but I love the simple concept of picking ingredients and bringing them together in just the right combination to make something magical. There are so many recipe books in our house, and I know one or two recipes, but just knowing a recipe doesn't actually make good food pop into existence as much as I wish it did. In a similar way, it's wonderful to know the Bible, the inerrant word of God, that is at the same time a mystery, a comfort, a source of holy fear, a source of love, and so many other things. It's great to read it, to understand it, and to study it. But similarly, just reading or studying the Bible doesn't actually achieve what God wants to achieve. Our Father is alive and active, And so is his word. Hebrews 4.12 tells us, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. So not only is the word alive, but we are expected and exhorted to actually live by it. Matthew 4.4 tells us, But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Luke 11.28 also tells us, But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it, So with the word comes application, and application is a wonderful thing. When we apply the word, it gives us clarity about what we should be doing. It gives us confidence about how we should be living. It is so easy to get lost in all sorts of pursuits and different directions, so many ideas about to use the the phrase that's knocking around uh, everywhere today, how to live your best life. Living your best life has to include the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the incarnation of the word and he laid down his life so that we can obtain salvation for free through him. John 1.14 tells us, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. So we can see that this word has so many dimensions, and it is something to be lived, not just studied, something to be applied, not just read. God is an active God. And he also expects his children to be active. James 1.22 But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. He has a plan and a purpose that will be fulfilled come what may. Isaiah 55.11 tells us, So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. It is an amazing thing to discover that you and I are among the elect through no attribute that we have, but through being chosen by God. It is so humbling and don't you want it to be recorded that you played your part In his amazing plan, what a God who can plan out everything in earth and heaven. What a God who can give us a chance 
to contribute to it as well. Amazing. But we only recognize that we're meant to contribute when we apply the word in our lives. We only recognize that we're meant to contribute when we move beyond an intellectual understanding of the word. When we move beyond reading it and studying it as important as those things are. It's time to get into the kitchen with those recipes. Put those ingredients together and enjoy doing the things that he has prepared for us beforehand. Thanks for listening and God bless.